We are live on Nash TV and the Say What Facebook page. Thanks so much for joining us, free men and friends. It's really exciting. My name is Nikki. And of course, the condomized campaign in Zimbabwe is implemented by Say What. And this is in partnership with the Swedish Embassy and the National AIDS Council, the Ministry of Health and Child Care. And of course, we are saying thank you so much to the partners who have made this possible. UNFPA, shout out to you. I'm joined by the the one, the only, the lovely Tammy. Hey, Nikki. How are you doing, baby? I'm good, thanks. How are that you? That was absolutely amazing. Tell me, how does it feel being part of this project? Such an incredible experience, such an honor to share the stage with this incredible man named Freeman. He is doing big things. Shout out to him for representing. And I'm so humbled, so honored to be here today to share this, the stage with him. We love it. We love it. We love yeah. it. Remember... Don't compromise, condomize. And that's something that's very important. We're talking about it today. True. Now, I think that you represent the young people. And it's important for you to be expressed in the best way. Is it important, in your opinion, for young people to condomize? You know, in our community today, there is a lot happening. Always, uh, we talk of diseases and how vulnerable young people are to these things as well. So, like you said, the message is to condomize in a situation where you cannot abstain. Obviously, I do up for abstinence, but where we cannot do that, let's practice safe sexual health measures. Let's condomize always. Let's reduce the amount of sexual partners we have as well. I do encourage that. But always, always condomize. It's safer that way. I hear you, baby. Yeah. We are saying safer is cooler. Now, on the screen right now, uh, there is a number that you can see and you can respond to the question uh, that is being posted and you win a special smartphone courtesy of Say What. And of course, your last message to young people with regards to condomizing and why they need to be safe this festive season. The easier thing to do right now is to keep yourself safe from all these diseases. We are in a society where young ladies are prey to all these diseases and all these older guys. We're talking of blesses. This is the season of blesses. And if you're going to get into all of that, at least try to be you safe. talk about blesses. <laughs> I have to. I have to. I'm a young person. I will say that in a situation where you are forced to be in that kind of scenario, at least reduce the risk of diseases and reduce your vulnerability by practicing safe sex, even with your boyfriend, even with your girlfriend. And like I said, uh, minimize the amount of sexual partners you engage with this holiday. Uh, yeah, it might be tough, but uh, it's the wiser thing to do. Protect yourself and uh, get tested as well if you must. And uh, make sure those around you are aware of your health and your status. If you're going to engage with your boyfriend or your, your girlfriend or your blesser, if you must. Um, yeah, get tested. Let, let it be known what your status is and just be safe. It's, it's best that way. Well, Tabby, thanks so much for joining us on the condomized table. Thank you very much. And remember, safer is cooler. We'll continue to talk about condomized, but for now, Freeman and friends, hope you're enjoying the show. We'll be back.